In this video, I will show you four methods to solve the problem of texture repeating in landscape. First, create a material and then add the base color, normal map, and roughness. Next, connect the RGB channels of the normal map to the normal input, the red channel of the roughness map to ambient occlusion, and the green channel to roughness. Then, hold the M key and left click to create a multiply node and connect it as shown. After that, Hold the S key and left click to create a parameter. Hold the U key and click to create a text chord. Connect both of them to the multiply node. Finally, hold the T key and click to create a texture sample. Now, find the texture called T macro variation. Create another parameter. Hold the A key and click to create an add node. Connect the add node to the multiply node. Set the value of the parameters to 0 0.350. Right click on the material and select create material instance. Now, you can easily change the values of the parameters from the material instance. You can even use a different texture without having to redo all these steps. Two. Connect the RGB channels of the normal map to the normal input, the red channel of the roughness map to ambient occlusion, and the green channel to roughness. Multiply text chord with parameter. Multiply. Vector parameter. Duplicate. Texture sample. Search the TNS macro variation. Multiply text chord with parameter. Hold the L key and click to create an lerp node. Connect the red channel of the T macro variation texture to alpha. Connect the lerp output to base color. Right click on the material and select create material instance. Now, you can easily change the values of the parameters from the material instance. You can even use a different texture without having to redo all these steps. 3. In this method, we will use the nodes from the second method. Texture sample. Search the TNS macro variation. Duplicate. Multiply text chord with parameter. Duplicate. Connect the red channel of the macro variation texture to add node. Multiply. Connect the multiply to alpha. Create a parameter and connect to A channel. Duplicate. After duplicating, rename all the new parameters to far and rename the previous ones to near. Create a new lerp and connect the output lerps to the A and B channels. Then, create pixel depth. Subtract. Create a parameter and connect to B. Divide. And create another parameter. Connect it to B. Connect the clamp to the alpha channel. Connect both lerps to a multiply node. Finally, connect the multiply node to the base color. You can use this method for large empty landscapes and set different noise values for the near and far distances. 4. Search for the grass material. If you don't have it, make sure that the starter content in Unreal Engine is installed. Open the grass material, copy all the nodes inside it, and paste them into your own material. Replace the existing textures with your own base color and normal map textures, 
and connect the roughness as usual. It's that simple. I hope the tutorial has been clear. If I made any mistakes and you know the correct way, please let me and others know. We can all learn together. Thank you for watching the video till the end.